Hey guys, this is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and I just wanted to kind of share my music licensing story with you guys. Um, I don't really know that I've done that before, uh, so here goes. Um, and if you like this, uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, because I do talk a fair amount about music licensing on here. So over the past three-ish, coming on four years now, um, I've been doing music licensing uh, part-time. I've got a full-time day job. Uh, I've done this all out of my living room. You can see, I mean, that's my books. My couch is a little over there. Um, and I've made over $10,000 doing this uh, from the comfort of my home. And so how did I do this? Um, well, I'm not the world's greatest musician. I'm not the world's hardest working musician. I'm not the world's smartest musician. But I, um, I'm a little tenacious, and I tried all sorts of ways to figure this out. When I was starting out, there wasn't a ton of information on the world of music licensing, and there actually still isn't very much, if you ask me. Um, so uh, I made a lot of mistakes. I went on some bad sites. Uh, I put my music there and just never really made any money off of it. I wasted a lot of time on that. Um, and eventually, I figured out that for me, the best site was on Pond5. That was the best place for me to be selling my music. I've done a review of Pond5 and why I think it's the best, so I'll put a link to that down below. Um, I would highly recommend that as the best place to start for beginners because it's got a good balance of active buyers, reasonable prices, fair review systems, um, and they're easy people to work with. Um, so fast forward, um, and um, basically once I started getting, you know, a uh, half dozen songs on there. Those are things that have just been sitting on my hard drive. I didn't even really write them for the purpose of licensing. I just, I'm a musician. I like to make music. Um, and then I got like my first sale and it was the best feeling I've ever had. It was probably only for like 10 bucks, but it was like, I mean, you know, I make way, way more than that in a, in a day at my real job, but it felt way better than any money I've ever gotten from a nine to five. Um, and so, you know, it just, it felt good. And I got hooked on that feeling and I really wanted to start sharing more and more music and making better and better music. So I started to hone my craft on how to become a better producer, a better songwriter, a better mixer, um, and how to write songs for music licensing. Um, I learned a lot, by the way, from mixing from Graham, Cochran and his recording revolution. He's got videos all over YouTube, and I'll put a link down to his channel. Um, and so, you know, I'm still working full time um, while this is all going on. I mean, I still am today. Um, it's only ten thousand dollars over three years. It's certainly not like I can retire, but it's been really rewarding. Um, and you know, the ten dollars from that first sale every couple of months soon became 20 or $30 a month, $40 a month, $50 a month, and it started to snowball to where I'm now generally making $200 to $300 a month from music licensing. Um, and I'll put a link to some of my earnings reports. I've got a playlist of them, so I'll put that down below. Um, and, like, it's awesome. And then, this is just from, like, sales on Pond5, but the coolest thing is that people are buying, licensing my music, for the purpose of broadcasting it somewhere else. So my songs have been on TV, they've been on the radio, they've been on an award-winning like indie horror film, they've been on a Netflix documentary. Um, they've been everywhere. And like that's awesome. I get to sit from the comfort of my home and I'm not trying to pitch people on publicity, I'm not trying to network, I'm just trying to make my music and other people are out there spreading it. So my songs have been heard probably tens of thousands of times maybe hundreds of thousands of times at this point. Um, so much so that like there's these things called back-end royalties, where if your song is played on TV or certain other situations, you get an additional royalty. Um, and so like I got a check, for example, for like $1,900 from Romania for performance royalties. Um, and it's just that everything's been growing and snowballing. Um, and so... It's been this awesome, awesome journey so far. I'm really looking forward to continuing it. 
And uh, this is sort of what inspired me to teach people how to do music licensing. Um, hopefully that you can have a similar journey. And I just wanted to let you know that, you know, it's totally possible. I am not nearly the best musician. Again, um, I just work at it when I can, um, you know, five, ten hours a week. Um, and it's just grown incredibly. Um, so if you're interested in learning how to do this and how to get started, I do have a free five-day course on music licensing on my website. You can check it out. I wish it's the sort of thing, it's the sort of thing I wish I had when I was starting out, like figuring out how to do this, what's going on, why, um, where should I put my music, what do I charge, all of that. Um, this will save you a lot of time. So go check that out www.stockmusicmusician.com or there is a link down there. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this and have a great day.